How's it going everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another Car Mechanic Simulator video and today's video guys I'm gonna do something special here. We are going to be going to the junkyard Yes, that is right the junkyard and we are going to be doing um, a fine video and we're gonna be getting uh, Hopefully a 1932 um, uh, Ford and we're going for a rat rod look so we're looking for one with a flathead v8 in it or just like a v8 in general Something with a little bit more power than the last uh, inline six we got. So let's just go. Let's just hop right in and kick it off. Head right to the junkyard. Um, I'm not sure how many times it'll take us, but I am going to be running around this junkyard until I find one of these. I think there's four separate versions you can find of the 1932 uh, mod. So let's see if we can uh, see if we can pick it up and find it. Trips to the junkyard. Your boy finally finally found the one we were looking for it is even a chop top roll cage i mean like you name it it has it fat tires slicks it's got it all so uh i found right here it's a ford 1932 it's a super this one's a supercharged v8 obviously it's it's not like of the era but you know it's got a v8 uh supercharged overhead cam in there our overhead valve i mean uh it's a uh, it's an absolute monster is what it what it appears to be Dang, it is looking pretty good. But yeah, so we're going to pick this bad boy up. And we're going to take this one back with us. It's actually pretty cheap. It's only $10,000. Um, the last one we got was even a little bit more. So that will go to the garage. And voila, there we go. Uh, let me run around the junkyard really quick to see if there's anything else cool. That looks like a Bugatti over there. That's pretty awesome. Got anything interesting over this direction? Nope, nothing. Okay. So we'll go back to the shop. So we got it. So first things first, of course, before we're going to start working on much is we got to get the frame cleaned up and the interior done. So we'll clean those out real quick. And then I think next, um, maybe suspension, get the suspension set up, get that thing going. Maybe do motor next video, actually. Okay, let's move this, uh, to car left right. So this one like tears down completely. I'll show you guys here. Uh, if you guys haven't seen the last video, but so you take off the top. So that's the chop top. Take out the inner fender. I guess you can take the entire inside out. And then there you go. All you're left with, sorry, move these mirrors, is this. It's basically just frame rail, and that's kind of it. That's pretty much all there is. So, first off, let's get our welding equipment, holding in fab, uh, interior detailing. This is just. The interior detailing is more just for like to me forget to get the number up to 100 so I don't have to like deal with it. Uh, it doesn't really do much, honestly. Okay, and then watch this. Wha bam! I can really tell what's bad on this. Yeah. So we're gonna keep the same setup they have going here. We're just gonna switch the wheel and tire combo around a little bit. Uh, same thing. We're gonna have fat tires in the rear here, so. Let me take these ones off first. All right, there we go. Those are taken off. Uh, let's find out what they were exactly. So they are 330-50-16s. Okay, it's tire shop. Where is it at? Where is it at? There it is. So we're going to do 2, 16... 330 50 330 and 50 $5,000 for those tires that's absolutely nuts and then we got to find a good set of rims for 16s what would be good in a rat rod you gotta I gotta do some weird funky looking rims um, definitely not the retros necessarily this is what was on it um, I want something with a lot of spokes. Could do like the wrench modern looking ones. Those are weird. Dang, I don't know what to do. Not the Pagani. Let's go up here. Let's go up to our, our, our DLC. Okay, so what do we got here in the DLC? Options, options, options. Um, I don't know. Room 20 is not bad. You know what? I don't know. I feel like I should do something really interesting. 
But I, I don't want to like... Uh, yeah, I don't know, guys. You know what? Maybe just do room four here. Actually, let's do this one right here. This one. Rim 9A. We're doing this one. Yep, we're doing this one. Okay. So, I think it's 4 for 16. I think the fronts are going to also be 16s. Uh, let's see. Install. So, there's the 16. I'll right, we'll get that going. Sorry that it took me so long to decide, guys. I was just wasn't very sure. here I hope these are 16s that's what I bought yep 16s 205 50 okay switches around a little bit drops it by what 125 instead okay there we go all right so let's get some 205 50s so two 205 uh oh 50. There we go. Two grand. Still super expensive. Uh, slicks are not cheap, to say the least. Uh, just kind of how the how the cookie crumbles. I hope I like these rims. I don't know. It's going to be very weird putting these on a rat rod. Alright, let's join the next one. Alright, let's get that running, and then I'm going to take this one. Okay, there we go. So first off, let's start on the suspension. This has got uh, not my least favorite suspension, but it's not terrible. It's got the the leaf, not even leaf spring. What the heck? What does you want me to go from? Oh, I gotta put it up in the air. All right, all right. Usually, with those leaf spring clips, that's what it is. But I've got control arms instead. There we go. Let's zoom in. All right, I'm gonna go through really quick, tear apart this uh, rear suspension, repair everything I can, and I will see you guys back here when this is torn down and ready to go. Alrighty, there we go, and that has been torn down and is ready to go. Let's see, so we got to get a coil spring drive axle. I don't think I've ever used this exact one before. Yeah, I don't think I've ever used this exact one before. Alright, let's see what we managed to save here. Uh, any shock absorbers? No. Any spring caps? Yes, okay. What about springs? Springs are dead. Okay, so let's get two shock absorber Bs. So two rear shock absorber Bs. Uh, two rear shock caps. Get the spring. Two of those. And then we also need the uh, solid thing. Yeah, solid control arm. Get our brake drum. I think we saved the shoes, so we'll wait off on those. Yep, so we got the spring saved. We didn't save the last sh uh, shock absorber cap, so it's a good thing I bought a new one. So we're going to need a new leaf spring plate, and we're going to need a new leaf spring U-bolt. And a knuckle housing B. All right, knuckle housing B. Yes, sir. Uh, go to the leaf. Buy one of these, one of these. It's nice not having the actual leaf spring like that solid uh, rear axle or not rear axle solid uh, control arm is what it was yeah solid axle control arm is super easy super simple uh, super quick to put on so I am a fan uh, needless to say all right we gotta add the big boys the 335 dang yeah that doesn't look too bad it's a big one it's just a little bit wider than the last one 
It does clip into the frame rail a little bit, but you know, who's counting? Who's counting? Oh, looks like I have an extra solid control arm. Oops. That's okay, though. Alright, I'm trying to remember what else I was going to need. Oh, we're going to need new, uh, we're going to need another set of brakes. I just remembered that those other ones we broke. Wheel up four. Drive axle. Check, 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 and check. Okay, let's get that shoe. Alrighty. Get the big boys in there, the 335s. I like how it has a center cap to cover. Yep. It's pretty cool if you ask me. Let's get a fuel tank really quick since we're already at it. Why not? Fuel tank. And I think I might have an extra fuel pump laying around. A performance one, too. Yes, I do. Awesome. Okay, so the rear section of this uh, rat rod is completely done now. Uh, now it is time to tear up down the front area. So I'm going to go through, tear down the front area really quick. You guys will see that. And then we are going to rebuild it as per usual. And then start tossing on a couple of body parts here and there, you know. Um, see if we can make it, uh, make it look like an actual car again and not just honestly floating frame rails uh, with a little bit of stuff attached to it. So I'll see you guys back here when we are ready to reassemble this. There we go. I got that all ready to go, guys. I tore it all down and apart. So now I'm going to go through and try and buy everything in advance that I think I'm going to need. Um, so I think we're going to need one of these, one of those, one of those. I think I bought the wrong one, so it's fine. Uh, we're also going to have to do new springs. So we're going to need two new front ones. Uh, we need to get some caps. Uh, I think they were double wishbone shock absorbers for the fronts we can also grab some brakes here we'll grab two brakes ventilated with some pads uh what else could we need we got tie rods we got everything okay you know what let's just do it i think we're pretty close we'll see if we saved any of this big pieces okay we didn't save that we save this okay i was right the first time sway bar b was the correct choice that is good to see that steering knuckle's broken. We saved all of our upper suspension arms. What was it? Steering knuckle C? Okay. So we need to get one steering knuckle C and also a bottom suspension arm. So steering knuckle C. And let's get a bottom suspension arm. So bottom suspension arm. That one. That's just for the other side. I don't need it right now, but we're going to need it. So I'm trying to buy it in advance. Be ready. Okay, so it looks like all we got to do is do go make our shock in a second. All right, and we're going to need wheel hub and front. Okay, we got this. We got this. Uh, front axle cover. Yes. Type in hub. We can get the front wheel hub. We can get the two bearings, two caps we need. Dang, I am, uh, I can't lie guys, I'm getting pretty quick at this. I'm getting, I'm starting to remember a lot of the parts uh, that pretty much every car is gonna need. So I'm getting pretty, pretty quick at selecting parts and having everything ready to go. All right, there we go. And then we're also gonna need one of these. Uh oh, uh, oh, it's cylinder, not piston. Okay, 
Now that we got that side pretty much complete, let's start building these. These take like a quarter of the time making uh, tires and wheels do, so. All right, how's she looking? No, oh, it's not looking too bad. Gosh, just a brand new suspension, in my opinion, is one of the best looking things on one of these. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna run through really quick and put rubber bushings in all the areas that connect to the frame rails. All the areas that the body connects to the frame rails pretty much, I think is what it is. Oh, and I didn't tell you guys, the engine is pretty much uh, like completely disassembled. If you guys saw in there, it's missing its heads and it's also missing, I think most of its lower uh, components too, which, you know, it's whatever. Maybe it'll be a little bit easier, maybe it won't. I'm not sure, honestly. Wait a second. Okay, dude, we do have all hundreds. I was afraid that we put in a, a 50 bushing. Oh, we got a little laggy there. All right, and this should be the last little thing we got to do. Pub cap pads, and I think I bought the caliper cylinder. Yes. All right, put the rim on. There we go. Sweet. I'm not gonna reconnect the drive line because we don't need to, or drive train because we don't need it uh, yet. But there we go. There is the suspension fully redone, ready to go. Ooh, we don't have any fenders. All right, let's get some fenders put on this thing so it looks semi-normal. All right, 1932. Uh, let's look for these fenders, fenders, fenders. Nope, not that fender. We need the body fender. Wheelie. Rear bumper. Oh, hey, there it is. Fender. Fender E, fender F. Come in mod. For hot rodders. Okay, let's go with this one right here. What? Front right fender. Rear right fender is what I need. What the heck? Rear right fender right here. Okay, stock body with flathead V8 badges. That's what I need, I think. Yeah, I think we're going to go with, yeah, I think I wanted to have kind of like a hood and a body thing going on up here. I didn't want to completely just knock out all of it. But yeah, there we go. It's got the flathead V8 symbol on it. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, there we go. It's coming together. Then if I add, not the rear bumper, where's that part at? Um, am I going to be able to add it at all? Trying to uh, clip it in there. Oh, wait, right here. I can do it. There we go. Get that front clip in there. And then we can fit in the other stuff. But I got to I gotta take it off the lift and move it around. So I'm just going to wait on that, guys. But there we go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, in the next episode, we're going to be doing the V8 here. It's not the Flathead V8, uh, but it is just a V8. So it's pretty... It's pretty awesome. So we're going to be doing that. We're going to be making this thing have a ton of power. It's 451 stocks. So we're going to be bumping that up to about 800, I think is what we're going to be going for. Um, and then we'll be running this thing. We'll put it on the drag strip, see what she puts down. Uh, it's going to be an absolute beast, though, because it is a rat rod, and that's like the whole point of it. Uh, but hopefully you guys enjoyed because I did so far. I did a lot, actually. I'm really enjoying this build so far. Uh, if you guys got any other suggestions for builds or anything like that, post it in the comment section below. I'd greatly appreciate it and love to see what you guys want to see. Uh, but thank you all for watching and hopefully I will see you all in the next car mechanic simulator video.